a tough dog on a leash that's wanting in to a fight and you're holding it back. That's what it feels like to pick up a gas chainsaw that's tuned and sharp and sock it into a cut. So this might be a little controversial or at least surprising to you or the people that know me best, but over the last two years, I have 100% changed my mind about something. And more unexpected, I've changed my mind about, about a cordless tool. Now, you know that I love chainsaws. I've loved chainsaws since I was a kid. I remember anxiously waiting for the day to come when my dad would say, yeah, okay, I think you can run a saw. And that probably came when I was 12. I remember that from the very beginning, the sound of a chainsaw wrapping up and then diving into the cut was a sound that I loved. And I loved the smell of the two-stroke smoke and the smell of the wood chips. I loved how, revo how reliable. I mean, a chainsaw lives in an incredibly hostile environment. It's wet, it's hot, it's dusty all the time. There are, it gets hit, it gets dropped, it gets thrown in the back of the truck. A chainsaw lives a tough life but a good one will always start. One of the things that has been compelling to me is how the chainsaw is hungry for the work. It's pulling you into the work and you're holding it back. Almost all the time, there's an element of holding the saw back. Kind of like riding an ambitious horse, right? You've got to hold an ambitious horse back, which is way better than having to spur or quirt or you know, encourage a, a lazy horse. The point of this video and the thing that I have at first grudgingly and now enthusiastically come to this accept is. is that cordless electric chainsaws are just as incredible. And in fact, in some ways, even beat some aspects of a gas saw. Now, I know that for those of you who haven't tried one of these yet, what I just said probably hurt your ears. But let me back that up a little bit. And before I back it up, we've already done a review on this saw, so this is not a saw review. But I just want to point out that in the big picture items, like how much work it gets done, and that feeling of pulling itself into the work, and that feeling of having all the power you've got to have for what you're trying to get done, this does it. Now, this is not a replacement for a big saw, but neither is this. Okay, but let me tell you why this rocks. There's no gas or oil to mix or store. The gas or oil is never gonna leak out of your saw into the bottom of your toolbox. They are lighter, okay? Now, not a lot lighter, but a little lighter, and every little bit helps. 14 to 16 inch bar length is really just about all you need. Now, I didn't realize that until this saw came along. I always was in love with the idea that, you know, a longer bar on your saw is a more useful tool. But in almost every case now, I grab this little guy because it's handy, it's light, it's already maintained, and it's ready to roll. Now, if you burn firewood, right, if you've got an acre or two and a little wood lot, or if you're selling firewood, don't kid yourself. This is not a replacement tool for, the, for your daily driver. But if it's anything short of that, this is going to be something in the bottom of your toolbox that you're always going to be glad is there. And you can forget that it's there because it's not gonna degrade, the gas is not gonna run out, like I said, and it's just ready to go to work. So cost. If you're gonna go out and buy this saw or buy this saw, this one will save you a little money. But if you're already moved into a cordless platform, if you're already invested in construction tools or yard tools or something with a particular 18 or 20 volt battery system already in place, then this saw, cost a lot less than this saw. Now, a couple things to wrap this up. These cordless saws have the same power, the same speed, and so they are just as dangerous. They will cut you just as fast and just as deep. So pay attention, put on your safety gear, watch our other videos about that. We've got a link in here that'll take you to some chainsaw safety videos. And now, after this thing's been sitting for a year without being touched, let's see if she'll start. Like 
I said earlier, gas chainsaws are a testament to modern engineering. So thanks for watching and keep up the good work.